Buenos dias from Guadalupe. Yesterday we left Medellin and headed to the town of Guadalupe. This is the gate where you go purchase your bus ticket to Guadalupe. Two tickets, they were 17,000 COP each. It was a super affordable bus ride. It was only $3.50 per person and only took about two hours. We are walking up to La Piedra del Peñol. I'm already out of breath just walking up to it and we're about to climb up a lot of stairs. Okay, so we just got our tickets. They were 20,000 at COP a person and it is 7.45. It's not supposed to open until 8 a.m., but they're letting people buy tickets and start walking up. It's supposed to get very crowded, so I would definitely recommend getting here early. I don't even know if we've said what we're actually doing today. So this little town, Guatape, is known for its huge Piedra del Peñol, which is essentially this giant monolith rock. I think it's actually the second largest in South America. <sighs> we already started climbing, so I'm already out of breath. Anyway, we're going to be climbing the 740 steps to the top. We've only climbed about 50 steps. They're numbered and we already have beautiful views of the lake. So let's keep climbing. A leaky water bottle. <laughs> I was gonna get like a oh, I'm taking a water break shot and it like leaked all over me. <laughs> okay, I think step number 300 is officially when my knees have like started to go weak and I look over the side and I'm like, ah. and we're not even halfway to the top yet. <laughs> Seventy-five. How you doing, babe? Guys, well, I'm out of breath. What I do love about these stairs, though, is they're very like evenly spaced. Sometimes those stairs can be like this big, then this big. These are like very easy, if that makes sense. It probably doesn't. I'm just too out of breath to explain anything. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. There's like more secret stairs to the top top. Now we officially made it. Oh, okay. That wasn't that bad. Not bad at all.
Needless to say, these views are incredible. It's pretty sweet when you get up here too. There's a bunch of souvenir shops, places you buy some food, just to relax and enjoy the views. What a great way to start the day. Okay, we just made it down. It is 8.45, we started at 7.45, so it took us about an hour to go to the top, see the views, come back down, and I had an ulterior motive for getting out so early. I wanted to make it back to our place for the free breakfast. <laughs> okay, I didn't feel that tired, but my legs are like, <laughs> like jelly bean legs. <laughs> So we timed that perfectly, it's just about 9 o'clock, it's starting to get much busier than it was when we first arrived. Get here right when it opens. Before it opens, 15 minutes before it opens. It's true. <laughs> That's the top tip. And we still have an hour to make it to the free breakfast, which I'm stoked about. But if you don't have free breakfast at your place, there are a ton of restaurants up here with beautiful views, so you'd be set. Sammy got a new friend, huh? Yeah, I'm sharing the tuk tuk with a new friend. Como se llama? Mono. Oh, because <laughs> Rubia. Blanca, Porque huh? Rubia. <laughs> See, Mona, Mona. See, <laughs> the two blondies. <laughs> We did make it back in time for breakfast. The breakfast is definitely worth coming back for. We have scrambled eggs with fresh local tomatoes and green onions from their garden, with some cheese, a repa, we have bread, jam, and we even have a hot chocolate. Wow, best arepa and eggs we've had yet on this trip. So this is super typical with the tomatoes and onions. But since they're both fresh from the garden, well, best breakfast yet in Colombia. As you can see, this beautiful property is set on this lake that's super unique. It has all of these little inlets and we're surrounded by greenery. We really wanted to stay here. They only had the family room left, so we have lots of beds, but let me show you around the property a little bit. I love that right outside of our door, we have this beautiful sitting area that overlooks the grounds with all of these beautiful flowers and a path that leads right down to the water. But let me show you the best part. Okay, we have this hot tub that we can use. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, there's steam just like wafting out at me. And it gets chilly here, you guys, at night when it rains. Definitely gonna be using that bad boy later. The property has a dock that's right on the water and they have kayaks that are free to use and we are definitely going to be taking those out later. They also have a common area, which they have hammocks that you can relax in. We've set up our workstation and they have a kitchen where you can even do some cooking. Real quick, I wanna talk about this brand Abley that we've been wearing while traveling for the past few years. Abley Apparel is a brand we've worn while hiking in Laos, surviving the hot and humid weather in the Louisiana Bayou, and even on a safari in South Africa. I love that Abley specializes in eco-friendly, sustainable, and natural fiber clothing. I'm wearing the Brett textured navy blue tee if you wanna check it out on their website. I brought this active cream colored sweatshirt with me to Columbia. It is super soft and very lightweight, making it perfect for layering. It's made with Philium technology, so it is anti-stain, quick drying, and odor resistant, making Abley apparel perfect for people like us who are always on the go. I love that with Abley, we can pack less clothes and do laundry less often. If you wanna shop any of these amazing products, you can click the link in the description box below or go to ableyapparel.com. Now let's get back to the video. All right, now it's time to go try out those kayaks. Look 
how pretty they are. Watch out, dodge! Kayaking in the rain, how you doing? Yeah, you can slide in there, you're good. Colombian weather. <laughs> that chilly kayaking is sort of rain on us. <sighs> Perfect way to warm up though. Yeah. Are you getting in? It's time. Come on. So we conquered La Piedra, had a fun kayak adventure, warmed up in the hot tub, and now we're about to head into town. here on Umbrella Street in Guatape. It is so cute and colorful. I can see now why they consider this town one of the most beautiful Pueblos in Colombia. Everybody is here getting their Instagram shots. We're gonna go through and find those, like I think there's like some colorful stairs to go find, so let's go. Okay, so we found these cute colorful steps. They're in this like very like colorful plaza, lots of little restaurants that you can eat at. We're gonna walk around town and maybe find something to eat. So we're not gonna be eating traditional food today. Our Airbnb recommended the best restaurant here in town. It's also the highest rated. We're actually gonna eat some Cuban food. I don't know what that is, but I'm excited. Menu looks amazing. so nice and breezy in here. There's a beautiful view. Did you tell them we were at a Cuban restaurant? Our host recommended this Cuban place to us. I've never had Cuban food before. So, Me Tommy, ne Tommy neither. <laughs> Tommy hasn't either. We're hungry. <laughs> Is that how you do it? I don't know what these were. This menu is very vague. <laughs> We've never had Cuban food before and we asked her what she suggested and she suggested a dish called the Cuba Mia, which is described as Fiesta de Sabores Cubanos. So a party of Cuban flavors. So I think we just take a deep dive and go for it. See what we get. Favorito y Juana la Cubana. Que es tu favorita? Oh, the Cuba Mia. Um, Barbarito. Okay. The, the two main courses. Wow. Okay. Cuba okay. Mia and yes. okay. exactly. Barbarito okay. para compartir. Okay. And Cuba Mia. Sí. Okay. Y Super. Ceviche de chicharrón. Oh, oh, sí. Appetizer. Appetizer. Okay. This is the fried ch uh, chicharrón sí. with mango, onion, the sauce, the house. It's muy rico. Perfecto. Mojito. Cheers. Yeah. Salud. 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 Ah, salud. Wow, this drink looks nice. What would you order there? Wow, this is incredible. It is so tart. There's so much lime juice. There's a shot of rum in here with beer. I've had a lot of micheladas before, but I've never had one with rum. Delicious. And since we're in a Cuban restaurant, I had to get the classic mojito, of course. 
Oh, it's pretty mild. Delicious. All right, here's the wall. I gotta try this. It's so tart. Wow. The Cuban Michelada is amazing. Otra, otra más por favor. This is really delicious. It's very sweet and has like a little tart finish. Okay. okay. I have Jenga too. Uh, okay. Okay. Jenga. She brought us some games to the table. Did we not? I think that means our food's gonna be a while. Because that did it not look like we were having enough fun, just the two of us. She said, here's some Uno and some Domino's. She's just trying to show us the best time. She's so sweet. Wow, this looks absolutely amazing. So we have crispy chicharron with all kinds of chopped veggies. There's maracuja in here, pineapple. Is this garlic? Fried garlic? I don't know what that is. Okay, going in for a bite. The dish is called ceviche de chicharron. So no fish, but fried chicharron. Which, uh, if you've been watching our videos, you know Tommy and I love this at this point. Oh, it's not so crunchy. Mm -hmm. It was so tart and crunchy and salty and savory at the same time. And the sauce was like, the sauce was what made it tart. It has like lime and maracuja. I feel like this looks like a garlic, but it's not. It's a corn nut. It's so interesting. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> this chicharron is amazing. <laughs> With the sauce on there, it really brings out all the flavors. I think this is our sign and we have to go to Cuba. Cuba? Cuba. Cuba. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so good. Fantastic. Oh. <laughs> that one bite pass. Sammy hogged it down real quick though. Oh, yeah. Only got a couple bites. Yeah. Ceviche with pork with no fish. Amazing. So this is the barbarita. It has grilled plantains with like shredded pork on it, topped with like melted cheese and then all of these like fresh veggies. It is steaming and I'm so hungry. I have like the perfect bite here, I think. That pulled pork is absolutely incredible. And the plantains are so sweet and the pulled pork is so savory with the melted cheese. This is amazing. You're making my mouth water. I know, I know it's time to eat. Oh, let's look at your dish. What did you get? Here, let's flip it around. So I got the Cuba Mia. It's just all the flavors of Cuba. I don't know anything else about it. It's like we have some pork, cheese, plantains, lettuce, beef. It has a little bit of everything. Let's dig in. Mm. So many delicious flavors. Both the meats are cooked to perfection. Nice little spice at the end. Wow, delicious. What a great recommendation. Fantastic food. Wow, what a great meal. Cuban food, who knew? Guatafe has been amazing. It's such a great stop on our itinerary, and we will see you guys in the next one.